Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And we have to make some changes on defense because the running game for other teams is just insane. Out of this world insane. I mean, they are doing whatever they want. So we're going to make some changes up front. So let's look at our starting D tackle, Chris Thomas. Remember, this is one of our Juco recruits. He's 78 overall. But look at him. He's only got two tackles, one for loss. So... You know what? I'm going to make this change. Shane Darby was our starting D tackle last year. He kind of, he does get in. Don't, I mean, he's always on the field, but he doesn't have any tackles this year. I want to give him a chance because Chris Thomas is just not making that impact. And especially on like three, four packages, Chris Thomas, you would think that he could be that anchor in the middle, but he's not doing anything. So Chris, so Shane Darby's actually going to get in. Javon Pennington is all right at his position. I, did, I just don't like the impact that Ramsour is having here because he's in on a lot of 3-4 packages, meaning he's going to get on the field a lot. I mean, a whole lot. But if you look at his stats, he's got 15 tackles, but those are definitely inflated because he's always there to clean up. But he's not really getting to the ball as quickly as I want. And my pass rush is just not getting in there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put Ali Christian back to left outside linebacker. Uh, let me just switch him here at right outside. So let's take him, put Ramsour in here. Uh, where is he at? There he goes. We're going to put him back at right outside linebacker, the position he played last year. And we're going to put Lewis Parker at the middle linebacker position here. We're going to put Ali Christian back at left outside like he was last year. And I'm going to switch Wiley to the second backer. And I'm going to switch... Uh, let's see. I'm going to switch... Where is he at? Lewis Parker here to the first backer. And then I'm going to switch Wiley here to the second backer. So here's what it's going to look like a, at our linebacking core. I'm going to have Ali Christian Russ in the past like he always is. Like I said, he's having a pretty good year uh, doing what he should. But, I mean, I just don't think Ramsour is having the year that he had last year, mainly because of the switch to middle linebacker, that second middle linebacker spot. So I'm actually going to make some changes here. And plus, our best tackler on the team is probably Lewis Parker because you see how many tackles that everybody breaks on offense, on the opposing offenses. I mean, they break so many tackles. So we do have to make a change here. And it starts up front with Shane Darby getting his opportunity to get in the game so we are going up against Virginia Tech, another struggling team. Virginia Tech was ranked to start the season. Remember, that's the reason why I scheduled them. And because they're in the ACC, we eventually want to move to the ACC. But if you look at this, they're struggling on offense. Only 18 points per game in three games. And look at the turnover differential. They're turning the ball over a lot. So maybe that's something we can take advantage of. If we look at who they lost to, lost to Ohio State and Notre Dame and then they beat wake forest by one so maybe they are just in a little bit of a funk they're just getting i mean look at this six interceptions by the quarterback already in three games so that's two picks a game for them and maybe this is something we can build off of their defense doesn't have any interceptions so we have been throwing interceptions lately but i mean maybe we can bounce back pull an upset off on the road and then go into conference play four and oh out of conference because right now cohen is actually thrown six touchdowns six interceptions so he's gonna need to be sharp in this game and look at brown i mean he's got 413 yards through three games so he is straight beasting right now ben miller is actually our leading receiver after that huge game last week so let's hop into this game already Let's go on the road at VT. Let's get it. So Josh Jackson, the quarterback for Virginia Tech, coming out, and we know he's a dual threat guy. So our middle linebackers are definitely going to have to step up after this defensive change we made. And on the first play, Josh Jackson's rolling gotcha, out bitch. right away and getting sacked. And Lewis Parker, who was playing the flat there, comes up with the sack. So already that change is already coming to fruition. And on the next play, Jackson throws an absolute dime to the receiver that time and we know he can run so this time he does get past the tackle but he slips up uh, stumbles to the right side so here we are man once again in another hole to start uh, the opening drive on defense and Jackson is giving it to McMillan McMillan has an open hole to the outside breaks a tackle and gets in for the touchdown Trayvon McMillan and that's a 7 nothing lead. We know this is going to be a tough game going up against an ACC's team. And 
we gotta we gotta run the ball. We gotta establish this run. So we start out giving the ball to Alex Brown on the next play, giving it right back to him, putting on a little juke move, getting to the first down marker Alex Brown he's such a weapon so here we are giving it to him once again with the outside handoff and look at that juke move oh, he puts on God. the corner that time what a dynamic player Alex Brown is proven to be as a true freshman and he's I mean right now I mean I can't see anybody that we recruit like even competing for a starting job over him because look at the work that he is doing I mean he has made such a big impact giving us a run game and a home run hitter in the run game because Jared Ingram was our running back last year, and he just didn't have it. I mean, he had a power game to him. You know, he was a power back, but, I mean, he couldn't hit that home run. So it's nice to have somebody that can take it all the way. But on a third down inside the 10-yard line, I attempt to run the ball. I'm thinking he can get there with his speed, but he gets stopped. So we do settle for the field goal so it is three to seven here in the first quarter and on the next possession Jackson is getting it to Carroll on the screen pass that time so now Jackson has made it to the 50 yard line on a second and 10 but Lewis Parker is there once again for another tackle he is killing up to this point I mean four early tackles a sack two tackles for losses and on a third down trying to get it to McMillan on the screen play but Cohen is there to stop the screen pass so now we get the ball back and this offense has been rolling lately this time getting Chad Ball involved in this game early and on a couple of plays later getting it to Alex Brown on a third and nine and we are converting and like I said all I had to do was get the ball to Alex Brown in space and he can make things happen and that's an example of, you know, what he can do, getting him, getting it to him out on a swing pass and just letting him work because that was a third and nine and he converted. And here we are converting more first downs in this drive. So on a first and 10 inside the 25 now, Alex Brown getting the handoff, getting close to the 10-yard line. And on a second and three, one of our formation changes. Look at Ben Miller bulldozing defenders are tight and getting the eight-yard carry that time. And we get it down to about the two-yard line on a fourth and goal. Getting in for the touchdown is Alex Brown. So we take the 10-7 lead on the road. And this Virginia Tech offense is full of quick passes, screens, quick runs, quarterback draws, all that. And here they are converted for a 22-yard gain to Patterson that time. So next play on a first and 10, getting it back to Patterson for the eight-yard reception and on a second and two getting it out to McMillan and look at that I don't even know what my defender was doing on that one Lewis Parker but he somehow misses that tackle so on a first and ten Jackson weaving his way up inside the 20 yard line so on a second and two dropping back to pass gonna run once again and what is Scott Tyree doing on these draw play I mean on these quarterback runs he's just watching Jackson run right past him so on a first and goal Jackson's going to find his receiver, Stokes. That's actually his tight end, Stokes, in the back of the end zone. And that's going to be a 14-10 lead early in this game uh, for the Hokies. And this is two minutes left in this half. Oh and Oliver putting on a move on the defender that time in a 35-yard gain. And Ashton Cohen starting out this game pretty nice. 13 for 15. And he throws this one deep. Drops an absolute dime that time to Eddie McCray. Eddie McCray, not known for his speed, but gets open over the top of the defense. They were playing a cover two that time, so I exploited it. And with 20 seconds left, Alex Brown getting in for the touchdown. And the Marquette Golden Eagles are going to go into halftime with the lead. So we start out the half with the ball. And we just keep moving the ball. Our offense is just rolling at this point, doing a good job versus a very good Virginia Tech defense and a very good uh, offense as well. I mean, they've been they've been struggling a little bit, but don't get it twisted. They're still good. They're still an ACC team. So here to start the third quarter, Cohen's getting the ball to ball that time. Look at that. He juked the corner behind him on that one. So here we are, first and 10. We get a little greedy, though. Throwing across the middle, thinking we can thread the needle. And Beckett is there for the interception. So the Hokies take over um, in their own territory. And here's Jackson making plays with his arm this time. Getting the ball to his receiver, Farley, uh, close to the 50-yard line. But on a third and five, 
Jackson's going to drop back under center, throw the outside and barely get the first down. Julius Macklin probably could have made the play there, but he allows the uh, receiver to get open there for the first down. So here we are, first and 10 once again on defense. Now they're in our territory. Jackson's going to drop back under center one more time, roll out to the right. Look at Tyree. Bruh. What is he doing? I mean, he is just literally watching uh, Jackson run past him this whole game, and that might be why awareness is so important because I mean come on I mean you can't just let guys run past you I mean like I said I don't do any switching on defense I let the computer do its job but we do get them to settle for a field goal but they miss it wide right so we take over what a break we catch there at least we got them to kick a field goal but we get it on a third down and their defensive end gets us before we can get the pass off but on a first and ten McMillan Bruh. gives us a mean stiff oh, arm, two of God. them, and he is going to break this one for the touchdown, and Trayvon McMillan is showing that he is a beast, and the Virginia Tech Hokies, they're beating us on the ground. They're not beating us through the air, really, and the combination of uh, McMillan and Jackson, I mean, they're just killing us up to this point, so here we are. We have to out outdo them on offense i mean that honestly like we can't depend on our defense we've seen how our defense is this season they're still working some kinks out so here we are third and six throwing up the field alex brown is open and he gets caught at about the six yard line on a 45 yard gain and on a second and goal alex brown getting the ball one more time getting into the end zone so alex brown i mean what an impact he's made, and now it's a three-point game, and this defense has to show gotcha, up, bitch. and there we are getting in for the sack that time as Ramsour for his first sack, and that's exactly what I wanted him to do, get some sacks, and here on a third and ten, attempting to throw a screenplay, and McMillan gets stopped, Lewis Parker on the tackle, so here we are. We got four minutes left. We just have to hold the ball, move the ball, waste time off this clock on a third and eight, getting it to Oliver on the outside that time, and facing another third down, throwing it to the outside. Alex Brown can't stay in bounds. He could have ran the ball upfield, but it's a fourth and four. We have to go for it. We have to show that we have some guts. And out of fourth and four, we roll out, throw it to Alex Brown. And Alex Brown, look at that. Making a spectacular move, getting to the first down marker, and once again, another impressive play by Brown. And here we are on a third and 10. Once again, these third down conversions are just killing the Hokies. And we get them to waste all their timeouts. And we knee it, go into victory formation. And that is going to do it. We finish our non-conference schedule 4 and oh, Virginia Tech cannot get right. I mean, they started out the season losing to two ranked teams, but now... They lose to us. I mean, are we going to start being favored in any of these games? I mean, because we're winning some pretty good games here. They're high scoring, no defense. But this time, we only give up 21 points. A great change from last week when we gave up so many points to Indiana and to Wisconsin. So, man, defense balls out. Lewis Parker definitely balled out. A sack, a uh, couple tackles for losses. I mean, our defense, it's going to improve. It's going to improve. Don't worry. I want to see our D-line get better. But hit subscribe, hit, hit that like button. We're going into conference play next week. I'm excited. So let's go.